Hey, what's up guys? Min here from Dental Tech Tips. So, I had a question that came in this morning uh, from a friend of mine. And the question was, hey, you know what? I did this all on 6 design. And I was doing some QC before I put it into the cam here. And I'm not too happy with the um, how thin it looks here. And there's a couple other trouble spots, kind of like at this embrasure here. So, his question to me was... Could I, should I just copy, standard copy this, go back, do a redesign on the original, and always my suggestion is to do a standard copy. Problem with big cases like this, especially if you're working with gingiva, sometimes it, it messes up some of your sculpt tools, uh, so you could end up wasting, you know, 5-10 minutes, you know, sometimes 20 minutes just going back through the redesign. Um, so the safer way for me that I've found is actually if, if you bring this into copy denture, so this video is here is just to, to demonstrate how you do that. So we'll go into Dental Manager, we'll make a new order, and I just I don't even bother naming it, I just made it a dummy order where I saw that copy denture. And we'll go ahead and we'll locate that order, the CAD folder for it, the CAD file I mean. And we'll import the scan, and we'll show you the name just for privacy purposes, but yeah, we import the CAD DCM of it, and we go ahead and just do the design. So the nice thing about, again, I say this all the time uh, for copy denture is it's essentially a, <coughs> excuse me, a solid object editor, right? So I, I really like that because it, it allows you to make little changes to something like this, a completed CAD design, pretty quickly. So here, let's use our cross-section tool, take a quick peek and see, you know, uh, his concern was here, it's, you know, a millimeter, <clears throat> not, not the best, but yeah, you know, you can use your sculpt tool here, sculpt it out a little bit, now we're at one and a half millimeters, Bump things up here. The key is to make sure you're not, you know, touching any of the implant parts here, right? Any of these cylinders when you're doing this this spot here. That looks a little bit thin. So again, let's go through your cross section tool and see how thin that is there. You know, five eight five. So we'll go like this. X that out. And Sculpt it a little bit, make it a little bit thicker. More likely than not, the um, the burrs won't even reach that spot, so it wouldn't necessarily be a problem. But you know, just just for the sake of being thorough, uh, this one is kind of the biggest trouble spot here. Obviously, you can't sculpt these together very well. I mean, you can do something like that, but then you know you're you're kind of ruining the the cylinder geometry. Um, what I would do here is actually I'd go like this, use an attachment, uh, let's go with the pin, 2x2, two two. view direction, we'll line it up this way, rotate, bring that into place there, okay, maybe my view direction was just a little bit off, so we'll do that again. Drop this down below the um, the embrasure there. Apply that attachment. And then we're able to sculpt, right? So we can go ahead and bulk that out. We can subtract a little bit if we want to. And this really is why copy denture is one of my, my favorite tools, is because it allows you to do, you know, things like this. And again, we'll do one more pin, same thing, view direction from the front here. Put this here, rotate, scale as needed, put that in a place there, we'll back it up just a hair. And we're going to drop it down. And 
and we'll press play. <clears throat> Again, of course, you could go through, redesign, close up these embrasures, but for the sake of this video, I'm just kind of demonstrating it this way. Just kind of show you the, the power of, of, you know, these kind of outside of the box ways to use these tools. This one here, you could, again, do an attachment, but we'll be brave and we're going to use the, the Band-Aid tool here, remove artifacts, and just draw and that'll patch that up and sculpt it a little bit again if, if you're not using a C clamp and you're just kind of milling this I doubt that the burr will even reach there but we'll you know do a 2d cross-section four tenths I'd, I'd make that a little bit thicker there how we doing now one millimeter that's pretty good <clears throat> And again, you know, just kind of looking around, seeing anything else that may be kind of thin or, or compromised. I think that's pretty good, though. So, yeah, at this point, I mean, there's this little thing here. That's not going to interfere with the screw seating at all. Not the end of the world. This here, that looks pretty good seems pretty thick and this spot here is pretty good as well so now we could just go ahead hit next and that'll generate a cam file for us that we can use and send that to a mill all right guys well thanks for watching and hopefully this helps you you know work with on some uh, use the copy denture tool as a solid object editor next time you get, get stuck on something like this okay have a good day